Hello, Michelle Lash from Densupply Serona. And today I wanna to review a hot topic with you, dental unit water lines. Over the last several years, we've heard about dental unit water line outbreaks in dental facilities that sadly have impacted the health of many patients. When we talk about dental unit water lines, we instantly think of air water syringe tips or high speed hand pieces, but oftentimes ultrasonic scalers get overlooked as a dental unit water line that also needs to be maintained. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to properly maintain your Cavitron Scaling Systems water line. So let's get started. If you connect your Cavitron Ultrasonic Scaling Systems water line directly to a municipal water supply, then these water line maintenance steps are for you. It's important to note that Densupply Serona recommends performing the steps I'm about to show you on a weekly basis. Begin by connecting the Cavitron scaling system to a dual select dispensing system. Make sure to follow the weekly steps in the dual select system's instructions for use or IFU. Once you've read the dual select dispensing system's IFU and have properly connected it to your scaling unit, follow these steps. Prepare a one to 10 sodium hypochlorite solution by adding a 5.25% sodium hypochlorite to the designated line on the orange disinfectant bottle. Fill the remainder of the disinfectant bottle with tap water. Place the orange disinfectant bottle in position A. Close the shield and set the selector knob to position A. Adjust the lavage water control at the base of the handpiece to maximum water flow and begin to flush the 1 to 10 sodium hypochloride solution through the system for at least 30 seconds. Ensure that the solution is exiting the handpiece. Set the selector knob to open H2O position and open the shield. Remove the orange disinfectant bottle from position A and place it into position B and close the shield. Switch selector knob to position B and operate the unit for at least 10 seconds. Set the selector knob to open H2O position, open the shield, and remove the disinfectant bottle. The system should be left undisturbed, allowing the prepared solution to sit in the water line for a minimum of 10 minutes, but no more than 30 minutes. As a precaution, Place a sign on the scaling system indicating it is being treated and should not be used. After the minimum 10 minute wait time has passed, fill another bottle with clean water and place it in position A and close the shield. Set the selector knob to position A and operate the Cavitron system at maximum water flow for at least two minutes or until all the sodium hypochlorite odor disappears. Set the selector knob to open H2O position. Open the shield. Remove the clean water bottle from position A and place it in position B. Close the shield and set selector knob to B. Once again, operate the Cavitron system at maximum water flow for at least two minutes until all the water drains and or all the sodium hypochloride odor disappears. Ensure that all the sodium hypochlorite solution has been completely flushed from the system prior to the use on a patient. Set the selector knob to open H2O. Open the shield and remove the empty bottle from position B. Place empty bottle in position A, close the shield and set the selector knob to position A. Operate the Cavitron system at maximum water flow for at least 30 seconds to air purge the line dry. Set the selector knob to open H2O position. Open the shield and remove empty bottle for position A and place it in position B. Operate your Cavitron system at maximum water flow for at least 30 seconds to air purge the line dry. Your system is now ready for use. Follow the CDC's guidelines for frequency of testing water lines and performing testing to your Cavitron scaling system on those intervals. Thanks for hanging out in the world of water lines with me today. 
For more information on the Cavitron ultrasonic scaling systems, contact your local Dentsply Serona sales representative.